This is Gene Key, KDD News. According to MyHighPlains.com, an Amarillo man's dead after a domestic dispute turned violent in Hale Center Monday morning. Police say 30-year-old Ray Fernando Rodriguez Jr. was shot by his girlfriend's dad sometime around 9.30 a.m. He was rushed to a Plainview hospital where he later died. Ronald Tressler is charged with the murder. Police say he shot Rodriguez once in the chest. And they say that this was not the first time that they'd been called out to Tressler's home for domestic incidents. Amarillo.com reports electrical wiring problems sparked a fire in an Amarillo home Tuesday morning. Shortly after 5 a.m., firefighters were dispatched to a blaze in a home at 1614 South Lincoln Street. No one suffered any injuries from the fire. Firefighters declared the blaze under control around 5.45 a.m. According to morenews.com, Moore County received a new designation from the National Weather Service for being storm ready. Representatives from the Weather Service were present at Monday's meeting. A sign designating storm ready was presented to the commissioners. Emergency management vehicles will be receiving a technological upgrade. Commissioners approved an expenditure of $8,172 for the purchase of GPS tracking technology. This will also allow the emergency management coordinator to track the whereabouts of his vehicles, which would be very helpful during events such as winter storms, storm tracking, and grass fire response. Commissioners also directed Tommy Brooks, who oversees the emergency management office, to check into the cost of installing similar equipment and to county maintainers as they also respond to weather and fire-related incidents. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.